Today we are going to learn about the basic accounting equation. The first part of the equation is assets. Assets are the resources a business owns. Next are liabilities. Liabilities are claims that people have that the company owes money to, such as banks, if the bank gives them a loan. Then we have owner's equity, which is whatever is left after all of the assets that your liabilities do not claim. Another way to look at owner's equity is the net worth of the company. If the company sold everything today and paid back everyone the company owed money to, what would be left is owner's equity, or the net worth of the company. So the accounting equation looks like this. Assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. And we're going to say the equal sign creates a left and a right side to the equation. So assets are going to be on your left side and your liabilities and owner's equity are on your right side. So our accounting equation is assets equal liabilities plus owner's equity. So in this accounting equation we have assets. Assets are resources a business owns. Assets are used to keep the company working. So some typical assets are cash, land, inventory, and inventory is items or products a company may sell. We also have supplies such as paper, pens, or any kind of office equipment. Buildings are also assets, and equipment is another type of asset. The last asset we will talk about today is accounts receivable. Accounts receivable is when a customer buys a service or merchandise but decides to pay at a later date. The customer is obligated to pay so the company has to have a way to show how they are owed money from someone. This is accounts receivable. Once the customer pays for the product, the accounts receivable is turned into cash. So on top of accounts receivable right here, we're going to put customer takes product but the customer will pay later so when they pay later it's accounts receivable and once they have paid for the item, the accounts receivable will be turned into cash. Liabilities are claims against a company's assets. An example is accounts payable. This is the opposite of accounts receivable. So a company has been provided a service or product, but has not paid for it yet. So the company records this as accounts payable. So for accounts repayable, we'll put company takes product, but pays later. So before it was the customer, but as a company, you're the one that's paying later. Then we have notes payable, also known as bank loans. This is money borrowed from the bank to purchase assets for the company, but the company must pay the bank back, so the account is referred to as banks, or as notes payable, not banks payable, but notes payable. And so, say the company goes to bank. We'll make a little house right here. Call it the bank. So the company goes to the bank, and then the bank gives money to the company. But the company will have to repay the money to the bank at some point. And to show this in accounting, we refer to it as notes payable. 
Owner's equity is the net worth of the company. This can be called common stock, which would mean that the company issued stock shares so the account name for the net worth is under common stock. More common account for owner's equity is the capital account. If Steve Johnson is the sole owner of the company, then the account will be Steve Johnson Capital, and the account would look like this. Steve Johnson Capital. Now, if there are two owners, then it would be Steve Johnson Capital, and there would be another account name for the second owner. And we will make one up so you can see. So we will name this one Joe Smith Capital. So we have Joe Smith Capital. So for one owner, it'd just be Steve Johnson Capital. And if there were two owners, then there's two owner equity accounts. One would be Joe Smith Capital and Steve Johnson Capital. And it's whoever's the owner is the name comma capital. And we just made up those names, Joe Smith and Steve Johnson. When recording transactions, there are three specific accounts that will affect owner's equity. The first is revenue, which is when a service is performed for someone, the money received is considered revenue. Revenue will increase owner's equity because the company is making money when it is getting paid. So under revenue here, we will put increase. Next, we have expenses. Expenses are costs that are incurred, incurred during the process of earning revenue. An expense will decrease owner's equity. An example would be gas expense for a lawnmower or advertising expense if you put an ad in the paper. So expenses will decrease owner's equity. Last, we have drawing. This would be if the owner took money out of the company for personal use and not for business purpose. The account title would look like this. Steve Johnson Drawing. And Steve Johnson is just a made up name. And so, whatever your name or the owner of the company would be in place of Steve Johnson, but then you would have comma drawing. And since money is going out of the company, drawing decreases. I don't know if I can spell decrease right, decrease owner's equity. And all these accounts affect owner's equity. Now that you have learned the accounting equation and some of the definitions in accounting, you are ready for the next video.